Welcome to the training to create fabs for shop use brake shapes, steel, and sun shape brackets. In this series of video, you will understand all the entire process to create all fabs and our workflow in order to getting the entire fabs done. Let's get to start with the first video, getting the documentation to start with brake shapes. In this video, we will describe what is the pre-takeoff meeting notes and where to find it. This document provides direction on finishes, length, limitations, vendors, and other additional instructions to create or fabs. You can find it if you go to the project folder on the project and materials. Make sure to use the latest version available for the project. Additionally, we need to create a panel scope. This is an internal set that shows the scope and define the parts. You can find it or create it if it's the first time that you are working on a project and save it on their project folder, drafting, takeoff, and panel group. Again, make sure to use the latest version available for the project. Let's get started and see how do we find those documents and how do we create it if it's the first time. In this example, under your SUBS mockup folder, if you go to Projman, Materials, you will find the pre takeoff meeting notes for this mockup. This document contains all the information necessary to create our FAPs. As you can see, it contains dates, the releases, distribution information, and other additional parts. We're going to be concentrated on the shop use brake shape portions. So if you scroll down until you find finishes, you will notice if we need to create any of our parts according with the distribution finishes and what the PM requires. Continues with the document, you will see the metal and then the shop use brake shapes. As you can see, this part, portion of the document contains what are the shop use brake shape required, what is the bender, what is the length limitations, and another additional instruction. Make sure to be familiar with those instructions before to start creating the fabs. If it's the first time you're working in a project, like in this example, you need to create the panel scope. So going back to drafting, drawings, you can copy the latest version of a PDF for the shop drawing and save it in the location that we already described. Take off, panel group, and save. Remember to rename it and save for panel scope and the numeration. This document, it will contain all parts and it highlight what do we need to do. To start with this, you need to go to detail zero zero and then add a sticker or a stamp. The proper way to do it, it's if you go on their stamps or the tool and go to WW Tool Fabs Takeoff, you will find this panel scope sticker. This panel sticker, it will help us to define what is a shop use brake ship, what is a shop use steel, what is a glaze in or show, uh, shadow box panel, a fill use steel, a fill use panel, an ACM panel or a miscellaneous material. Please make sure to follow the right color when you are highlighting into the parts. Let's gonna make an example. In this, we're gonna highlight green for shop use brake ships and cyan for shop use steel. In this example, I have a shop use steel bar. So I need to change my color to cyan and highlight it into the part. 
If I see any additional part that it needs to require the color highlighted, I'll do it. In this case, I don't see any more, so I move to the next one. It is very important to do this for all details when you have that information. Please make sure to you continue the exercise and highlight everything on this highlighted or review set. Make sure to mark all the parts that it's going to be shop use, break shift, or steel. Like, for example, we need to go to the sunship brackets on 604 and then call it for shop use break ships, as you will notice here. This part, it's going to be a shop use break ship. Same here. And then continue with the exercise and move to the next video. This concludes this portion of the videos.